So how's it going YouTube? My name is Proxy and today I'm going to show you guys my QQ9 um, gunsmith class setup. So let's get right into it. I kind of forgot where it was. Alright, first up we have the monolithic suppressor. Yeah, it makes the ADS bullet spread less accurate but still it does that extra range plus it doesn't have that high recoil that makes most ha well some of the guns really bad so next up we have the recon tack long rtc it has that plus 20 percent damage range with the 6.8 percent ADS bullet spread even though the downside is that the ADS time is pretty bad but if you want to if we want if you want an accurate SMG this is the gun for you next up we have the strike stock the MIP strike stock it adds um, the ADS bullet spread accuracy and the 8% hidden flinch. And some horizontal recoil as well. You may not have the ADS movement speed good, but it's really good if you want to be really accurate with it. So it's I'll recommend you to do the, the, the strike stock. And you always gotta run the OWC tactical laser. It adds the the ADS time which the other attachments attachments that I have for this weapon is pretty bad but this adds it up a bit with also some ADS bullet spread accuracy which makes the accuracy go back up and last but not least we got the 10 millimeter 30 round reload it's decreases the fire interval which means it slows down the fire rate by one but one doesn't really affect the gun as much it also decreases the reload time adds vertical recoil and adds ADS time but with the OWC tactical laser it increases the ADS time by a little bit, which giving it that plus 25 damage range, plus damage, and it is it is pretty good if you want this gun to be really accurate and very very long range. You can cr you can probably shoot people in the middle of the map. With the uh, increased in damage, you can be really good with this gun. I'm not sure if you will like this build. If you guys recommend any other attachments, I'll be sure to do another video about that next time. But pre please comment down below what attachments you recommend me doing that, that will make this gun better than my attachment build that I have currently. And that'll be it for today. I'll be doing another video in the next couple of minutes about my M4 class setup build. So, thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, and comment. And share this video it would be very much appreciated. I'll see you guys next time.